Yeah, good morning once again, guys. Um, <clears throat> welcome to uh, my online training session. So, guys, um, here um, I was Vamsi Krishna, so Vamsi Krishna Guttula. So, I'm having some around 18 plus years of experience. I'll just introduce myself, guys, just by giving a small presentation. Yeah. So, today is going to be um, a workshop, actually, guys, a free workshop, basically. It's going to be some kind of an, a free workshop. So a free workshop basically on what exactly. So as a full stack data science course. So if you want to become a full stack data science developer. So what exactly uh, the workshop basic idea here is to get some kind of an awareness about what we are going to be learning in the data science course actually guys. A full stack data science course. So what are the contents it can, what are the topics you have to learn? What are the techniques we have to learn? What are the technologies we have to learn? And whatever the courses, finally, whatever the courses we are going to be offering, actually. So what the Durga Soft is providing, the um, it is going to be uh, the Durga Soft is offering the course curriculum on this particular, the AI, machine learning and all these things, actually, guys. Okay. So just let me introduce myself, guys. Just let me uh, just a quick uh, about myself, uh, just a quick five minutes, not more than that. I just want to just introduce myself and I just want to show you my experience, actually. So just give me a quick minute, guys. <clears throat> just give me a quick minute. Yeah. Fine, guys. <clears throat> so I was the trainer, actually, guys. So I was basically the trainer. So totally, uh, my experience is almost all 18 plus years of experience, totally. So in the software industry, total, I'm having around 18 plus years of experience, guys. So <clears throat> just give me a minute. <clears throat> Yes. So just a quick summary of my experience, guys. A quick summary of my experience. So already um, I given my name. So I introduced myself. So I am Vamsi Krishna Kutula. So basically, um, I was from Hyderabad, basically. So um, it was I actually I was from Andhra Pradesh, but uh, from almost all from 20, 22 years. So I was uh, settled in Hyderabad. So my industry experience, guys. 18 plus years of experience, 18 plus years of experience is my, is my total experience guys. So what is my specialty actually guys? What is my specialization basically? My complete specialization guys, all these 18 years of experience, all complete 18 years of experience is related to the data. That means my total, I did move from anything like Java to somewhere here in the data science or not from some other technology to here actually guys. Almost all I was aware about all the data related technologies, starting from database management, starting from database management, database admin, business intelligence, big data systems, deep the uh, coming to the data science. So five years experience guys. So out of these 18 years of experience, so five years of experience is almost, is I'm having on the related to data science actually. Five years experience on the data science. I always started from 2017. So up to now, 2022, it is going to be five years. It is going to be almost all five years. So my experience of data science actually is. So before that, so before that, almost all 13, 14 years of experience is almost all on the data related technologies. Around in 2003, I have started actually, I guess. Around in 2003, I have been got started almost all 18 plus years of experience. I started my job, I started my work on database related technologies. At that time, we don't have BI, um, we don't have any big data systems. In 2003, actually, guys, in 2003, we don't have uh, a tremendous changes. I have seen a lot of tremendous changes also, actually, guys. So I have been, um, um, I have been seen how the technology has been got changed, actually. So starting in around 2003, I initially started with mainly for processing and analyzing of the data, which is going to be data management. Like I started as a database developer. So I have an experience on the databases like Oracle, SQL Server. So even I, I, I also teach us some topics of some topics of database systems actually guys. So in our applications, that means whenever we come to our data science course, some little bit knowledge about some database systems are also required. Like uh, I talk about something like primary key, foreign keys, 
a little bit knowledge. It's not that much expertise is required, but a little bit knowledge is going to be required actually. Yes. Basically, we'll work with something like tools like Tableau or, or in uh, Power BI. We require a little bit knowledge about the database relations, basically, which we call it as primary keys and foreign keys. So I started with database development like Oracle and SQL Server, very popular at that time, actually, yes. If you learn Oracle, you used to get a job. Directly on Oracle itself, we used to get a job, like a database programmer. It's a very, um, very popular, and at the time, huge demand is there for a database systems. After that, after that, it has been changed actually because almost all, all database systems has been made out uh, automated. Most of the work has been automated actually. So around, I worked almost all for around seven years. I have been got worked on these database systems. After that, I have been moved to DBA part, actually. There is a database admin. After that, almost all around in 2010, I moved to DB, actually, guys. So a couple of years, just almost all one, two years, I have been got worked on the DBA as a DBA on SQL Server. So even I can talk about backups, recoveries, OK, uh, backup strategies. I can talk about them. I can just, because. Technology wise, I can speak about anything actually, even database experts. Sometimes we require, even in our data science course also, sometimes we have to require to work with database systems. Like at some, some small, small topics like backups, recoveries. So how do you do the backups actually? So if I give a backup, how can you restore in your database? So a little bit knowledge about them. So that is going to be a part of a DBA task. And meanwhile, at that time, so even at the time, even from 2005 only, we are having an BA has been started in 2005, almost around 2005. BA has been got started. That is business intelligence. So slowly it was started, but after a couple of uh, years, Microsoft has came up with a very popular tool, a popular suit, which is going to be Microsoft business intelligence actually. So which we used to call it as MSBA. So it almost all ruled so it has been ruled for almost all for three years, almost all from around three, four years. It has been almost all ruled the market, actually, Microsoft Business Intelligence. So, so many people used to come, they used to learn. So like they used to teach the tools like SSIS and we used to have SSRS and all that SSAS. Now it was outdated. It was not outdated. It was almost all it has been become saturated, actually, yes. It has been become saturated, actually, because the reason here is after that the cloud has been came and all that particular technologies has been moved to the cloud cloud is providing a lot of uh, inbuilt services for them everything the clients are able to directly with a small team they're able to maintain all these things actually and a lot of data analytics tools has came actually so so people has the clients the companies they don't find their they don't find any need of finding this particular using their particular business intelligence tools now they have been outdated actually yes. business intelligence was outdated so after that, from around 2014, a couple of years, I worked on business intelligence, like uh, it's a BI technologies actually. And after around in 2014, I have been moved to big data technologies for three years. I have a knowledge about. So all these are included. So as a full stack data science course, actually, guys, basically DBA is not required, but some knowledge of BI because we are going to be using a tool called as an Power BI is required. We are going to learn a tool called as a Power BI, some BI terminologies. To work with the BI, some basic knowledge about database systems. So we have to require some knowledge of SQL is required, actually. We are going to work on them. Plus, even as part of our data science course, we are going to be having an, a big data technology required. Like we are going to be working with a framework like what is going to be Spark, we are going to be gets working, actually, yes. So like that, all my experience is the prerequisites or as a part of, that means from the from the last five years, I'm working on the data science. But even whatever the earlier also, I am also a part of the data analytics. I was also part of the, the data, uh, the business analytics, data analytics. And we used to use all the SQL queries and all the things. So even though I didn't directly work on that particular tools, why use it in as part of the data science. But whatever I have been working is also a part of a data science as of now. All this has been added actually, guess, database. BI and big data systems. And then from the last five years, I'm working on my data science, machine learning, deep learning, artificial intelligence. And to just upskill myself, so I have done mine. So whatever the knowledge I'm having, so to just assess my skills and just to upskill myself, upskill. 
So I have been done one certification program from IIIT Hyderabad. So which is what they call it as advanced certification training on AI and plus ML. So which is provided by IIIT Hyderabad in collaboration with Talent Sprint actually. So you know them nowadays a lot of um, a lot of corporate a lot of corporates has been collaborated with some the uh, it is going to be some of the top institutes like IIIT IITs IIMs and they are conducting these particular training programs. So which you costing which it has been costed me around two lakhs. So the cost of this program in 2019 is around two lakhs. Now also guys we have a lot of that kind of a certification program. So many are there. So many IITs as came, even IIT Hyderabad, or even it can be IIT Mumbai, the IIT Bombay, IIT Madras. So even IAMs and even IIITs, IIIT Bangalore, IIIT Hyderabad, they have been got collaborated with so many corporate companies at the trainings level, and they're connecting a lot. A top is one actually even Bit Spilani is providing an MTech program for two years. So an MTech program for two years. So we are going to be getting some MTech on uh, that particular Bits Pilani from Bits Pilani also we can get it actually. So there are same higher levels, some corporate levels uh, kind of and uh, we are going to be having them guys. We can just work on that particular ones. Okay, so that's it guys. This is about my experience. This is going to be just my summary of my experience actually guys. Okay, so here the basic idea about this workshop is just to clarify that means what we have to learn in our data science because so many people having a small questions like sir maths is required is stats is required up to what extent we have to learn what are going to be my prerequisites so do you require any prerequisites i don't have any programming or i i came from a mechanical background so can i learn this data science or i'm having eight years of experience so how can i show my experience here now so just to clarify them guys so just to get some idea so because as of now guys really we are having a lot of jobs on the data science actually guys really but i find the people saying that we don't have the jobs but if you find the job portals actually guys we are having a very good jobs on this particular data science actually very hard jobs actually guys it's a very hard job one of the 60th job sexiest jobs in the in, in this particular 21st century actually but why the people why the people are troubling why the people are getting a troubling and getting a job here is it is not just like a learning a programming language. Basically, learning a data science is not learning a programming language. So it's a going to be like it is going to be a little bit like a self learning actually, guys. Like I can say that 75% learning is going to be from my side, plus another 25% should be contributed by the participants. So this is going to be the 75%, the theory. Correctly speaking, theory actually, guys. A mentor. And this is going to be the participant has to contribute another 25% of self-learning actually. Yes. So 25% is going to be like a self-learning, learning some new things. Plus, apart from that, we have to do some research. You have to do some kind of a research actually. Yes. So without that, we can, don't expect that like a Java or something like a .NET programming. We'll go to the class, we'll learn some programming. Copy will just whenever we get some issue. We'll copy the code and paste it here. That does not work in the data science course, actually, guys. Really, if a person who is having the main interest, actually, guys, main interest is self-learning. Basically, we have to learn most of the things we have to learn by ourselves, myself. So myself is my completely self-learner. I was a self-learner, actually, completely this data science and machine learning. I completely learned myself, actually. And there is a quite interesting story behind them, actually, guys. Some five years back, when I was working in the in the tech in the tech Mahindra, so I got an opportunity. Actually, at that time, I'm working with the big data systems. Actually, at that time, I used to work with. I started my big data systems in 2014. So from three years, I for three years I have been got worked with uh, the big data systems. So while in 2017 I got, uh, I just I got an opportunity to work. With a team of uh, in the in the tech Mahindra, I got a opportunity to to work along with an ML team. I have been got started working with them. So as actually there are ML team actually at that time they have been just restarted actually guys some training programs and all these things they have been started. So at that time that particular I just I worked along with that particular ML team actually the machine learning team I have been got work. So at that time I, before that I don't have any idea about the data science and all these things came the new technology 
So some years before I have seen some tool called as an R language. Somebody is working on R language. At that time, by looking at the R language, so I use it that particular, I see in that particular R software, I installed it. And it's an, um, I don't know why I have been, somewhere I have been seeing the R language. I, at that time, I don't know. In around 2014, I used to work on the big data system and I started my journey on big data. Somewhere on somebody's system, I have seen that R software actually. I don't know at that time, what is that R? I installed that particular R software in my system. After seeing that software, I just worried, I just immediately worried about that. I was scared about that and just immediately deleted about that. But after starting working on that particular R, I came to know that how simply it is going to be to work with R language. So at that time, I have been just, I have been scared about that. But after three years, I have been started working with the same, whatever that R. And after that, I find that that R is very easy for us. So that is the mainly the story where my journey of this particular data science started. And I came to know about that machine learning and almost all a self run because already I'm having an exposure to the data. Like it is going to be database, I have a knowledge, big data systems, I have a knowledge. Almost all by that time, I just started learning our language by self learning and I already learned the machine learning applications. And after that, after learning, I have been just upskill myself after joining, after completion of my certification program from IIIT Hyderabad. So 75% contribution should be done by the participants, guys. Simply just if you come to the class and just listen the class and goes off, that is not sufficient. I'm not talking about practice actually, guys. Practice as well as along with that self-learning. So you have to explore more and more things actually, more and more things. What I discussed one topic, not only me, if a mentor discussed a topic, so what are the enhancements in that? What are the other ways to handle it? So do some research on that and we have to learn it. Research and learn. Research it, guys. So first of all, we have to understand it. So apply them, research it, do some research on that. From there, we have to be learning, actually. That is what exactly. So if you want to get a real, if you want to get a really, if you want to work on these data science projects, and if you want to get a job on this particular data science, so learn whatever the mentor teaches, practice them, and do some kind of a self-learning and just try to implement those things and do some research on that. So mostly in machine learning, there is no thumb rules, guys. In our data science, there are no thumb rules. Our own opinions, our own ideas, our own opinions, and our, there is no process like you have to do like this only. So we have to learn the things actually, guys. Okay, so the main topics actually, guys, the main topics actually, the main important topics, it is going to be nothing but machine learning. It is going to be some kind of a, machine learning and we are going to be having something called as an deep learning generally in short we are going to call it as ml dl we are going to be gets calling it as actually guys so ml whatever we are talking whenever i'm saying that it is an ml it is going to be nothing but machine learning actually guys it is going to be nothing but a machine learning what we are going to call it as next one which is going to be the main part actually guys which is going to be nothing but your ai which is going to be the artificial intelligence it is going to be nothing but guys it is an heart the artificial intelligence actually so ml dl and which is going to be nothing but ai these are our main subjects actually guys which are going to be part of our data science what are these they are not any software names they are not any technology names actually guys they are the techniques machine learning is a technique where we are going to make our machines to learn. Machines will learn actually, the name itself is. Don't think that from the machine, we are going to learn the things. No, machines are going to learn guys. So machine learning is nothing but some techniques. There are some going to be some techniques are there. What techniques are going to be there actually guys? They are going to be nothing but some kind of an mathematical techniques only guys. They are not any software techniques, some kind of a mathematical techniques and a, math a mathematical methodologies we are going to be implemented. So techniques to make a machine learn, to make a machine learn, just simply to say, like in our school days, how the teachers are going to be uses the various techniques. So like in whenever we went to the school, like a kids, so how our teachers has been used the various techniques to make our make us to learn, like how to make an addition, why do you require an addition? So what, how to do that particular additions? They've explained some techniques actually, same as it is. So machine learning is also nothing but a techniques to make 
a machine to learn actually guys machines will learn so many people just really wonder yes we really machines will learn yes guys machines will learn machine started learning them guys machine started learning by themselves up to now whenever we go to any programming language any programming language actually guys the only point which we are going to learn why do you require a programming language first of all why do you require a programming language because the machines can't understand our language machines can't do by machines can't do anything by themselves machines does not have any intelligence or does not have the capability to do something by themselves actually everything should be instructed from the user so that is a need of that instructions are nothing but a program what we are writing so up to now the people stay saying that the machines are going to be they are not capable to do by themselves anything you want to do we have to write a code so in a programming language what we have been learned here is to make a machine to work we have to write a program actually we have to write a program but now what the scientists are saying here is what that the, the your computer experts are saying here is from so many years we have given the instructions but now the machines it started around in 1960s only yes the research was started in 1960s success has came in the recent couple of decades of time not even couple of decades maybe hardly some around 6 7 years back it has been uh, some some enhancements has been came actually so many success stories has been came actually so maybe hardly it is going to be some around 2000 maybe around some 2011 after that only that has been came actually you can see the history about them later i'll discuss about them guys so it started in 1960s only so the computer experts started thinking that why every time we have to give the instruction to the machine why can't the machines can learn by themselves actually so they started with a small small research actually guys like doing applying some kind of an and gates or gates so they applied such kind of a things actually so what is and gate what is an or gate so they started giving some research on that they giving started doing some research starting from applying with the and operators and or operators they started applying them actually so at that time in 1960s the computing power of the system is very low so they are unable to make a big stories from them they are unable to make a big stories at that time but after some after some around after the ends of 2000s uh, in the beginning of 2000s or at the beginning of 2010s and 2011s a lot of computing power has been increased actually guys computing power has been drastically increased very highly drastically increased in guys exponentially it has been increased so my first computer when i brought my first computer after completion of bachelor's i brought my first computer after my completion of bachelor's in 2001 actually guys i think you know that it didn't taken too much time actually and we all of you know that our smartphone is better than currently our smartphone is going to be better than the computer which was there at almost all some around uh, around 10 years back actually guys even 20 forgot about 20 years back 10 years back whatever the computer we used to use whatever the computers we used to use there are less power than our current mobiles actually our smartphones so my first computer i brought it in 2001 i brought it for 2001 i'll tell you the ram size actually guys just you will generally wonder about that what is going to be the ram size it is 128 mb is my ram size my hard disk actually guys my storage is going to be just an hard it's a span of which is going to be 20 gb is the storage and my processor at the time we don't have this i3 i5 i7 i9 we don't have it actually at the time we used to use intel pentium core after that we have got dual cores and all these things we have got now we are using i3s i5s and all these things we are using so it is going to be intel pentium core we used to use it actually like a single single core actually it is not even going to be double core also even it is going to be a single core processor we used to use it actually so this is this is going to be my first computer now my mobile my mobile is going to be 8 gb ram the ram itself is 8 gb and my storage of my currently which is going to be 128 gb is my storage of my particular one so processor is also going to be very high high end processors we are going to be using actually so just see 128 mb is the ram size which i used in computer and this is our currently at least 6 gb nowadays at least minimum there are using 4 gb 
minimum 4 GB RAMs that are using, minimum 32 GB space that are going to be using. It is a current lap, the mobiles with a minimal configuration is coming actually. So technology has been changed actually, yes. The technology has been changed and the computing power has been increased. So due to this, due to this, due to this computing power of the system has been increased. Due to the computing power of the systems has been increased. This data science came into the reality actually, guys. Success has been came for the machine learning. Otherwise, still the machine learning used to be in the labs only. But why it came into the reality? Because is it is due to the computing power of the systems. Because once the computing power has been increased, they are able to perform. They used to develop some kind of an a popular methodologies and which is going to be some kind of an computing methodologies, what we are going to call it as algorithms. Mainly our data science is going to be study about these algorithms only, guys. Data science is completely nothing about a study of algorithms. So to solve a particular problem, what kind of an algorithms we are going to require? There are some algorithms will be there actually, guys. So these algorithms came into the reality. Earlier also we are having in 1960s, 1970s also we have an algorithms. But to solve a particular problem, so to solve a particular complex problem, we require some kind of an, a complex algorithms required. Award winning algorithms, what we call it as. Award winning algorithms actually, guys. Okay, so due to some popular algorithms has been done, due to the computing power of the system, mainly computing power of the system, computing power of the system actually, guys, brought a powerful algorithms has been came. So they, they helped the computing power of the systems made the particular scientists to develop this particular powerful algorithms actually. And these powerful algorithms has been made that particular your ML and DL came into the reality actually. That has been brought the success stories to the this ML and DL actually. That is the history about them actually, guys. Okay. So anyhow, just to get some idea about them. So mainly we are going to make our main target is guys. We are going to make the machines to train. We are going to make the machines to train. Why should I train the machine actually, guys? If you train the machines, machines are going to help you. First, you train the machine. You give some problem to the machine actually, guys. If you just give a machine, the train the machine by giving a task or by giving a problem, what it is going to do is, it is going to help you to take a decision actually. Basically, guys, for kind of a decision making. For kind of a decision making, we are going to do this actually, guys. Train the machine. You have to just give some training to the machine. Machines will learn how to solve the problem actually. Based on that, it can take some kind of a decision making actually, guys. It can make some decision making. So we can develop what kind of applications we can develop, guys. Starting with a small, small, like an, like an working with some kind of an, uh, like in games. Starting with a basic, like starting with a games, puzzles or it is going to be some kind of an funny apps, or it is going to be about something like an, an advanced levels, which we can use it in the research organizations. Or maybe it is going to be for commercially, can be implemented for some kind of an multinational companies. So I can just can tell you guys, a small example I can tell you. You can just give some images. And what is what I'm giving the training actually, guys. I'll give some images. I'm going to give some images actually, guys. Some images of males and females. I'll give some images of some kind of and males and females actually. Some males and females images, we are going to give it actually, guys. We can train the machine. I'm going to give the machine. I'm giving the training to the machine, guys. I'll ask my machine. Can you please learn? I'm going to help the, the machines to learn themselves, guys. So I'm giving you a set of images of males and females. Based on that, you have to train. And whenever I given a new image, actually, guys, whenever I'm going to be giving a new image, what I can, what you have to do is, you have to help me to find out whether it is a male or a female. That means you give some training to the machine by giving the males and the female images. Some images we have to give it. Now, whenever a new image was given, the machine will tell you whether the person in that particular image is a male or a female, actually whether that particular image is going to be male or a female actually, guys. You may get a doubt, sir, why do you require this? Where do you use this? It's absolutely like, for examples, in our outer cards, actually, guys. So we know that in our outer cards, in our, just an example I'm telling, 
So we'll find out nowadays this errors has been rectified actually guys. Notar cards, the most of the errors has been nowadays rectified. But some years before, the people used to face a lot of issues with the voter cards. So like, for example, when the person gender is a male, in the place of a gender, it is going to be giving the male. In the, if it is actually, it is a male, but they used to be printed as a female. Or in the place of female, they used to print it as a male. Like age, it is going to be. For example, if the person age is going to be 46 years, so there it is to be printing something like a 16 years. So because at that time, it is a manual work, actually, guys. A lot of things are there, actually, guys. I'll tell you what exactly we can do then. So we are making a machine. We are making a machine or a computer to learn that particular images, actually, males and females. So now, let us say that nowadays, everything due to the pandemic also, everything has been online. It is completely online, actually, guys. It is completely online. So they'll ask you to upload the image actually. So we uploaded the image, not only in like a, a opening of a bank account or something like we are applying for examination, a competitive examination or applying for a job, whatever it can be. Everything is nowadays online registrations actually. So whenever we are applying the online registration or whenever we are applying for a voter card, so whenever the gender was given actually, guess. so there is a gender column is there. We have to fill up the gender column. So instead of filling up the gender column, you can automatically, the machine will identify whether the person is a male or a female actually. So the machine says that it is a male actually. But at the same time, there is going to be some chances. Even machines also do 99% they'll do correctly only. But 1% chances are going to be there actually guys. So we have to do some confirmation. It has to be doing some confirmation. No manual entry will be there. Just you uploaded the image, the machine says that it is a male. Do you want to confirm that? Just if you say confirm, that's it. It automatically takes it as a male. If maybe out of 100 images, maybe one or two images may go wrong and we can do that. And these are already there, guys. These are already there in some kind of an applications. I think I don't know how many of you have verified, uh, how many of them has been encountered them, guys. Nowadays, you can apply the jobs. We are applying the jobs, actually, guys. We are applying the jobs. Okay, so through some web portals, through the company web portals, actually, directly on the company's websites, directly on the company's websites only, we can apply the jobs, actually. Like we have so many companies are there. So when you upload your resume, actually, guys, first thing they will ask you to upload the resume. Just upload the resume, actually, guys. Once if you upload the resume, automatically there are going to be some, it is going to be filling, it automatically fill up the form, actually, guys. Like what is going to be the name it will identify. Okay, like what is the name? And something like what are going to be your technologies? What are going to be your skill sets? What are going to be the technologies? What is your skill technologies we're having? Automatically, it will read it and makes a summary list of them. Okay, I, you have a knowledge of this. You have a knowledge of this. You have a knowledge of this. But it will also allows you to give some updation also. So it will also to edit, allows you to edit that particular profile also. So automatically reads and fill ups. I applied a resume, but how the machine knows that? How they knows that? Nobody sitting there. There is nobody sitting there who is going to be filling up the form. Automatically machines will read it actually, I guess. So the machines are already trained. So where the, in a resume, whenever we upload your resume, so where it will be, the name will be there. How can you identify that it is a name? So there are some patterns will be there actually, I guess. There are some patterns will be there. So at the top of the resume, there will be some name will be there. The names will be like this. So they developed a machine learning algorithm. They developed a machine learning algorithm to read some name from that particular text file. A normal resume is nothing but a text file. From the text file, where is that particular name is there? It is not based on the position. It's based on some kind of a title, like wherever it sees something like a Mr. or wherever it sees a Mrs. or sometimes it is a, like a Miss. Not only that, by using a different, different study, the machines has been trained. This is the name. This is a pattern of a name. Once if we give a training, it is going to be get done actually. Yes. So you can give a training to the machine actually. Yes. So really machines can learn. Only thing as a machine learning expert or a deep learning expert, we have to make some environment. Like it is like a growing of a tree actually. Yes. Trees grows, the trees and plants grows automatically by themselves. They grow, but we have to prepare. We are not, we are only helping that particular plant to grow. But with our instruction, plant does not grow. 
So if you prepare our environment, if you just prepare some kind of, and if you create the environment to make a plant to grow, so how the plant grows easily, same as it is, machines also learn. Only thing is, just put some kind of, and you prepare some environment actually, yes. You prepare some environment. That is what an ML expert or a deep learning expert or an AI expert is going to learn actually, yes. Not only this, even from that particular, even from that particular, like from that images, it's not only gender identification, yes. It is going to be some kind of an expression. Expression means emotion actually, yes. So from the image, you can make an emotion recognition actually, guys. So whether the person is going to be, um, whether the person is going to be smiling or whether the person is going to be, uh, is a showing a sad face or whether he is going to be showing some kind of an enjoy. So whether it's a showing a joy or it may be something like happy or a sad face or fearness. Okay. So whatever it is going to be, it is showing that. You can find out that emotion of them. Sir, what is the purpose of this? I'll tell you the research organizations, guys. I'll tell you. So currently, some one company is doing some kind of an, um, one kind of a product they want to develop it, actually, guys. I think we have already seen them, actually. Some kind of an physically handicapped people, actually, guys. Physically handicapped. So let us say that they can't, they can't speak, for example. Let us say that they can't speak, actually. Or let us say that a person is a disabled person. So he don't have, that means he can't move his hands, he can't move his legs and he was in a wheelchair actually so one company is working on them guys so the company wants to what they want to do is so he want to write it i think we've seen some in fiction in movies and even in some movies also we have seen them actually guys so the wheelchair it is going to be such a way it is very intelligent such a way that the instruction from the particular person is going to be taken by just showing the emotion actually so that will helpful. So see, this particular application is helping a company to develop a particular an AI based system based on that particular, the emotion of that particular person. It can take the interaction, the instruction, and that can act according to that. So whether to drive straight or whether to drive left, whether to drive right, for example, guys. So the person is a handicapped. He can't move his, he can't move his leg. He can't move his hand. So how can he go some, some kind of an instructions in some movies we have been seen some kind of a joystick will be there. I think we have in Telugu movies there and some movies are also there. So he's going to be giving some instruction actually guys, just by moving the joystick only with his head actually. But now they are trying to make it a more and more easy actually guys, more and more easy actually, not only moving. So it is going to be some um, like, for example, something like they want to raise an alarm. So whenever the person shows a sad face, immediately the alarm is going to be gets uh, the, it's going to be uh, it is going to be raises an alarm actually. Immediately the the person the people can take some uh, they can just approach them or they can reach them actually. So like that they are doing such kind of a research. But what is going to be the basics for this? This is going to be the machines are going to be identify the emotions. First of all, the machine has to identify what emotion is going to be showing actually. What emotion is going to be get showing actually, guys? That is what exactly the user has to learn it actually. That machines has to learn. If the machines are capable to do it actually, guys. If the machines are capable to do, they can do this kind of a research actually. So all these are going to be done as part of our data science course by using a very complicated networks. What we are going to call it as a deep learning applications, guys. So these success stories has been, that means why these particular people started working on this because is, it is due to this particular deep learning applications, guys. It is due to this kind of a deep learning success stories, actually. So developing the games, actually, guys. Developing nowadays, everywhere it was using, actually, guys. The AI-based systems. So all these are interconnected, actually, guys. ML, DL, AI, all these are going to be interconnected. So AI. AI is going to be gets contains the ML. ML is going to contains a DL. DL is a part of ML only, guys. But anyhow, there is a slightly difference how the ML, how the traditional machine learning algorithms will work. DL is also part of ML only. If you are learning DL means you are learning an ML. First, we learn ML, one part of ML, and the second part of ML is going to be DL actually. So deep learning, what we are going to do. All these are learning as part of the particular, the AI, and all these together, we are going to call it as a data science. 
So as I told you, mainly we are going to learn some ML algorithms. We have to learn the ML algorithms actually, guys. The ML algorithms and the deep learning algorithms and the AI algorithms. The AI related algorithms will be there. Studying about algorithms only, guys. Even if you search online, even if you search online, what is data science actually? If you just search for what is data science, for example, what is going to be data science actually, guys? So once if you see this particular data science, just a study, a data science is nothing but a field of study actually, guys. It is a one of the interdisciplinary field that uses some scientific methods, processes, and it is going to be some kind of an algorithms and some systems to extract some knowledge and insight from the noisy, structured and unstructured data and apply that particular knowledge and convert them into and some actionable insights actually. So as I told you, it is a study of, it is nothing but a field of study only. Guys. So it is going to be, we are learning various scientific methods, some processing techniques, and we are going to be learning some algorithms to get some knowledge, to get some extract the data in knowledge from the data actually. It may be a structured data or it may be unstructured data. Everything is going to be done by, which is going to be done by like this actually, guys. And you can see, so once if you say data science course, guys, we'll get a lot of data science courses will come. As I told you, you know, an MTech program on data science um, from data science from Bits Pilani, it is going to be making you around uh, two years, actually, guys. Two years, total four semesters, actually. The cost of this particular program is around two and a half lakhs, 2.4 or something. I didn't remember. Earlier, it was there around some 60,000. It is going to be 60,000, I think. For each semester, it is going to be costing you 60,000 actually, guys. So these are going to be, just if you have a look at the, the fee structure. So just we have to give some details. Just we have to give the details actually, guys. Once if we give the details, then it is going to be just downloads that particular one actually. So just let me download just because I can't, I can't see them, guys. Unless and until you don't fill up them, you can't download them actually. This is going to be, okay, just a minute once. Okay, so just I'm going to be writing some kind of an, which is going to be, I'm writing it. Let us say that uh, I was a consultant trainer. I was just a trainer, for example. And let us say that it is going to be Hyderabad, for example. Yeah. So just if I submit it, it is going to. So if you just see the fee structure, actually four semesters, actually 11 months program, 12 months program, two years programs like that, we'll be having it actually, yes. So we can just download, I think it was downloading, it was downloads or it will send the, um, it is going to send it to um, that one actually. Okay. Okay, just I have to check with my mail. Just a minute. Yes, yeah, I think uh, it was right now. It was not there. Okay. I'll just check it out. So you can just download and can check it out to the brochure actually, guys. So which is going to be costing you around, which is going to be, uh, which is going to be just costing you around some 2.4 lakhs and it's totally for, so it is going to be because two years actually, it's a two years program actually. It's not just for a four months or five months. It is going to be totally, it is going to be two years actually. Totally, it is going to be two years it is going to be just we can apply them actually for two years we are going to be doing this actually so we have subjects actually we have a various subjects are there a two years program actually work integrated so it is going to be as of my knowledge it is for two years actually you can see the course curriculum it is going to be a two years integrated program so where we are going to be getting this actually I guess just if you see the program curriculum you can see them actually so these are all the the curriculum actually I guess it is going to be um, totally, it is going to be four semesters actually. So you can see the terminology is actually, I guess, deep learning is there, natural language processing, artificial, and these are all electives actually, I guess. These are all going to be some kind of an electives actually. Data structures and some kind of an algorithm design. So, so many are there. You can just, based on your requirement, you can just select whatever the features you require. You can just select them actually, I guess. Okay. You can see some talking about that machines learning, machine learning, big data systems. So we are going to be having uh, some kind of an statistical methodologies. There are so many popular programs are there, guys. There are so many popular programs are there. So I'll tell you who can do that, who is necessary to do that kind of a certification programs. Once if we say data science, 
we are going to be getting a lot of programs we are going to be getting actually so mtech program from bits pilani simply learn um, it is going to be upgrade scalar which is going to be there are so many are going to be there actually guys so which is going to be something like and greatlearnings.com even they also collaborated with so many iits and all these things so these are going to be guys so so many are going to be there actually so many training programs are there but which are costlier and which is going to be like 11 months 12 months there are going to be training programs actually okay fine so anyhow whatever may be the course curriculum guys learn ai ml and it is going to be dl actually apart from that there are so many other techniques are required. there are so many other things other things are also required actually guys but how to implement them guys we require a programming language like we are going to be learning like python or we are going to be learning r so as part of um, as part of the course curriculum you have to learn some programming language it may be python or it may be r language actually not only them guys we are going to be using so many other tools learning data science is not that much easy actually guys so if you want to learn it we have to learn python and r any of the languages then already i told you ml dl there is some going to be all these are depending on some maths and stats so some kind of a maths and stats also we have to refresh them actually guys we have to refresh them actually you need not to be an expertise on that you are need not to be a research on a research uh, scholar on that it is going to be at least some basic mathematical skills and basically some kind of a statistical analysis required actually and apart from that even not only learning python and r actually so we are going to be learning some kind of an uh, so many things actually guys like working with images actually so how to handle the images what is an image how to handle the image so what are the image contains basically so what is a color images what are going to be the grayscale images actually so just studying of that particular images actually so it lot of skills are required guys simply how do you give the image to the machines i can't give the images directly to the machines the images has to be converted into some numerical format i think we all of you why i'm talking about images because is so images contains are made up of pixels actually not only images actually guys we also works with audio files so how do you extract the data from an audio file what is an audio file contains even how to extract the data from something like a text data as actually videos it is going to be some kind of an videos actually guys videos we are going to be working with them anyhow videos are a little bit higher level so images audios and text these are our main sources of data actually guys your data may be there in a format of an image or it may be an audio file or it may be some kind of a text files will be there so how to handle them how to handle them that is what we are going to be gets learning them application guys that is a way which we are going to be gets working with them actually okay so anyhow <clears throat> so it's not only these things guys as i already told you we have to learn something called as an some kind of an big data systems are required so a knowledge of big data systems so you can see them so big data systems are there and nowadays guys all these services are providing you can implement very easily with the help of some kind of an cloud services actually guys so some knowledge about some kind of a cloud services like it may be an azure from microsoft or it may be aws or it may be google cloud platform so because they are going to be making you to perform all these applications very easily without writing any code what is the main idea about cloud services actually guys a person who do not have any idea about them or without having any much knowledge about them they can implement this particular algorithms you need not to write any code in python and r everything will write the code by yourself but here we are not going to write any particular code here now everything is implemented by that particular cloud service only so we are going to work we have to learn them actually and some kind of a dashboard reportings like it may be a tableau or it may be power bi some kind of an tools actually guys if you want to work with them some terminologies of bi and some knowledge of sql is going to be required some knowledge of sql or some knowledge of bi is going to be gets required so power bi tools that is going to be one thing actually so like this you have to learn so basically in big data systems like what is spark frameworks what is an mr framework what is going to be hive frameworks so these are the some of the things what we have to learn mostly spark mr hive those are the things what generally we require it actually in cloud services you will be learning something like an azure so in uh, in python and r so how to perform all these particular operations like how do you collect your data how do you analyze your data how do you visualize the data 
python provides a lot of libraries for them python is going to provides you a lot of libraries for them so easy to learn actually guys python is very easy to learn that is the main reason why we use python basically for our machine learning and deep learning applications okay so these are the things actually guys so if you want to become a full stack data science programmer or if you want to become a data science engineer a full stack data science engineer not only just by learning some topic actually machine learning deep learning ai nlp so we have to work with the natural language processing nlps so we have to learn some big data systems come some kind of a cloud services some kind of a dashboard reporting like this so many things are going to be gets required actually guys all this collectively you have to learn as part of our data science course curriculum guys okay so that is about this part, uh, about the data science course guys and we at durga soft we at the durga soft at durga soft technologies we are going to providing so coming to the durga soft guys we are going to be providing a complete a full stack data science course curriculum guys which includes no as as already i told you which is going to be ml plus dl plus ai plus along with that there are so many other things other technologies and methodologies what we are going to be learning actually yeah only python language is sufficient um uh, mr pradeep uh, just give me a minute once guys yes guys um if anybody is trying to just post any text actually guys please text it to everyone so that everyone can see that actually previously the option was not there i disabled it now it was there to everyone so that everyone can understand what i am talking about that yes so pradeep is asking uh, only python language is enough for data science learning is yes. only python is sufficient but you should be because this the problem with this open source is python is an open source language so whenever you are generally working at open source field open source environments you should be having the idea about the other frameworks also guys the other languages the other options that are available there why open source free to use you decide what you have to use for example if you are working for a company if the company is using a commercial product that means they already brought the license they already brought the license for them so you are forced to use only that particular software only but whenever we are working in open source environment your community or your company does not restricts you to use only python that is up to you whichever the language you want to use they want the results open source means free to use free to means it is not i'm talking about money actually guys you are not forced to use only this way you have multiple options are there that's why if you want to get an advantage actually an entry point of you also for getting a job better to learn the r language option guys so so many people worry that sir learning r is a little bit difficulty nothing difficulty guys if once if you are able to learn python r is going to be very simple than the python actually r is going to be very simple than the python at least in python python is very easy to learn guys at least in python there is going to be some concepts of oops is required actually some basic knowledge about oops but in r language no oops concept is required because it completely works based on the procedural even an experts in python also guys even an experts in python they will be facing a trouble actually because whether it is a method whether it is a class unless and until somebody giving actually guys when you are using you have to study the documentation which one is a class which one is a method or which one is a function if you don't study them we can't work we cannot handle them actually but in our language there is no object oriented style everything is a procedural style no object oriented style everything is a procedural style no concept of object no concept of class no concept of methods everything is a function we have only the topic called as a functions that's it use a function here sometimes we use as the classes sometimes we use as the methods sometimes we are going to use as something like um, let me something like attributes because classes contain some methods attributes and sometimes we use as the functions will get confused which one is a class which one is a method which one is a function which one is an attribute here no confusion everything is function 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 work with so once if you are able to learn python it is very easy to learn the r language actually guys okay so okay so once once we are at durga soft we are providing a complete full stack data science course which includes all that modules for ml dl plus ai along with python all these things guys python and we are going to be working with the r and along with that we are also going to be learning the big data systems 
and we are going to be learning about some count of and working with the cloud APIs. And along with that, we are going to be working a dashboard reporting, which is going to be the Power BI. So as a complete package, we are going to be providing as a, uh, as a course called as an a full stack data science course. So coming to the schedule at Durga soft place. So we, we are going to be starting a new batch at morning 8 a.m. guys. So actually the batch timing is from 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. actually guys. This is your actual batch timing as part of the demo classes, only as part of a demo classes because we'll conduct multiple demo sessions and then we'll club the batches actually. So actual batch timing is from 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. actually guys. This is your actual batch timing. So tomorrow we are going to be having a demo at 8 o'clock actually guys. We'll be giving three days of demos actually guys. A three days demos like I told you about what is machine learning. I didn't discuss about what is there in the machine learning actually guys. I simply said that machines will learn, but how the machines will learn? What is the technical aspects of that? I'm going to be discussing as part of the, the demo classes actually guys. So three days demos will be there actually guys. Maybe Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And from Thursday onwards, you have to attend the class from 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. That is your from the Thursday's class. As part of the demo classes, guys, we are going to be having from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. is your demo class, actually. Okay. So my backend team will again, anyhow, they will get back to you and they will update you the details, actually, guys. Okay. About the course fees and all these things. And totally your course duration is going to be around four months of time, guys. Four months plus or minus, it will be another 15 days. We'll say that four months, guys, because syllabus is very, very vast. So approximately four months is my commitment as our commitment. It depends on them. Maybe extra, you can say that there may be another 15 days. Maybe extra, it is going to take it actually, guys. I'll just give you, anyhow, my backend team will share you the details. This is going to be my complete day-to-day -day course, the shed schedules, actually. Every day-to-day -day schedules will be there, guys. Okay. So what are the contents and what are the topics we are going to be discussing? And this is going to be my total course curriculum, actually, guys. So just once again, guys, just a quick review of a quick concept of discussion about our core curriculum, the discussion. We are going to be learning some core Python, actually, guys. Core Python, that means whatever the Python concepts that are required for machine learning, only those topics only will learn it, actually, guys. Plus, additionally, if you want, it's as a complimentary, Durgasoft offers you some kind of, some videos, actually, guys, free videos. So these video lectures has been taken by uh, one of the uh, one of the, the top trainer. He is going to be Mr. Durga sir. So you will be getting from the Durga sir 170 videos of complete Python classes actually guys. If you are interested, if you are interested actually guys. So if you registered for your Durga soft, uh, if you registered for this particular course, if you register for this particular course um, at Durga soft. You will be getting the videos actually, guys. These videos you are going to be getting at a free of cost actually, guys. Core and advanced Python 170 videos classes are going to be there, which we are going to be getting around some 600 plus page materials by Mr. Durga sir. You are going to get the access to this 170 videos actually, guys, at a free of cost. They're at free of cost actually, guys. As a complimentary, they will give it actually. Plus, Every day to day, the recorded videos will be there actually, guys. Day to day recorded videos, guys. It will be day to day recording videos will be given actually. These recording videos are going to be accessible through your Google Drive. We'll be sharing through the Google Drive. Totally, you can access the drive for one year actually, guys. One year totally. From starting of your complete starting your course and up to one year. So if it takes some around four to five months, if you go for a training also, Plus, along with that, some other eight to seven months, we are going to get an extra access, actually. For one year, there are going to be giving the access to that, this one, actually, guys. The course materials, the course materials, and we'll be getting some whatever the notes. This is my, what, the, uh, this is my, uh, what I can say that it's my whiteboard notes, actually, guys. So these notes also will be given to you, guys. Every day to day, that will be coming, actually, guys. Just let me show you my dry ones. It is going to be how do you get the access to your drive actually, I guess. I'll show you just currently there is one morning, uh, sorry, evening 8 p.m. batch is going on actually, I guess. At 8 p.m. there is one batch is going on. So we can see that particular access actually, I guess. From Durga Soft, already one month back we already started actually. Hardly one month it was there. 
So this is going to be the drive axis actually, guys. Day to day videos will be there actually, guys, like February. So I think 12th video was not updated. Up to 11th, it was updated actually, guys. Yesterday's video was not updated because yesterday night was completed no? by 9 30 or something. So maybe in the morning, they will update it actually, next day morning. So day to day videos will be there like this, guys. This is your the previous class. Just an example I'm showing you. These are videos. You can just play them and we can watch the videos actually, guys. We can just watch the videos. And along with that, these are my notebooks actually, guys. Whatever the notebooks I have been written actually. So the whiteboard actually, guys. Whatever the whiteboard I have been got written on that day. So currently, these are my uh, working, whatever I have been got worked on there with working with NumPy, like n dimensional arrays are there. Currently, I'm just working on the NumPy. So I am currently discussing about the NumPy module actually. Plus, along with that, my class notes also. Just if you open, right click, I can just open it. Later, I'll tell you. This is my Python notebook actually, guys. That is nothing but Jupyter notebooks I'm going to be using. You will be getting access to that. Plus, along with that, all that materials like PDF files will be coming actually, guys. Your PDF files, whatever the topics I have been got discussed, all the topics related PDF files will be coming like this. You can just see them. So we can see some kind of an, uh, uh, this one actually, I guess. So I prepared, some of them has been downloaded and these are going to be my created. I created this particular, all this, just up. currently we are still in the basics only, you know? so basics, whatever we can see with an application actually, yes. Okay, so like this, day-to-day -day notes, day-to-day -day videos and the material topic wise, and along with that, we are going to be doing every day to day actually, guys. In labs, we are going to do how many examples we are going to do it in the class. Plus, along with that, for yourself, how many POCs will be given to you for your practice purpose, actually, guys. So, currently, this NumPy is going on right now. Currently, NumPy is going on. So, five days we are going to be working on the NumPy's. So, we already completed in 8 p.m. We completed this. On Monday's class, I'm going to start with the pandas, actually, guys. These are all part of our machine learning applications as a part of Python. What is NumPy? What is Pandas? Okay, these are all the topics what we are going to be learning actually, guys. Can you have a look at that particular, this one? We'll start with the core Python, guys, which will take some around 12 days. After that, we'll start with the NumPy, handling the numbers. Pandas with the data manipulations, data cleansing and all these things. Data visualizations like working with Matplotlib, etc. So then, guys, machine learning is there. R, deep learning, NLP, Plotly and the Dash, Hadoop and the Spark. Working with chatbots, actually, guys, chatbot special specialty about chatbots, Azure ML if we are going to be gets working, and the Power BI, actually, guys. So these are the things what we are going to be learning. So totally 125 sessions are there, actually, guys. So some topics we are going to take, some miscellaneous topics will be there, guys. Like a Sundays, we are going to conduct some extra classes. So we are going to cover such kind of an 25 sessions. We are going to be conducting extra classes, guys, like on Sundays, we'll conduct it actually. Three hours will take the session. At least if you take some around four or five sessions, that is going to be contributing around 15 sessions, it will take it actually. So we'll be conducting some kind of an extra class on Sundays, only for miscellaneous topics like our language. We are going to be teaching instead of breaking the regular class on as a, as a workshops, we are going to conducting actually, just like today, how I conducted workshop. So we'll be conducting a workshop on Sundays actually. So our language will be taught on Sundays. So the seven classes will be covered actually. Even chatbots also, guys. It is going to be, actually it is a four classes. We'll be conducting this on the Sunday's classes actually. Some kind of an Azure MLs. So these are all like some miscellaneous topics actually, guys. So like whenever we work about the um, Hadoop and the Spark, which is going to be four day sessions, it will take it. We'll conduct on the Sunday's classes actually. So like that, we are going to be trying to make up this into four months. As I told you now, four months or four and a half months, it is going to be takes it actually, guys. Totally, that is our class duration. Okay. And as part of the course fees, actually, guys, DurgaSoft is going to be offering all these as a package at a cost of around 16,000, actually, guys. INR 16,000. So you can just, my backend team will contact you and you can just discuss with them. They will contact you again back. They will send you the, um, the mails and they are going to send you all that particular details about the fees and all these things. They will talk about them. If so if you have any discussions, you can just talk related to the fees and all these things related to the fees concepts, the fees related discussion, you can talk with my backend team actually. If you have any technical questions, you can just discuss with me guys. Okay, so that's it about the today's workshop from my side guys.
So if you have any questions, feel free to discuss with me, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to discuss. You can just use a chat panel, guys. Otherwise, you can uh, you can just unmute yourself and you can discuss with me. Yes, anyone, guys, any questions? Yeah. Yeah, when the new batch will start, Selva, as I told you, know, it is going to be from tomorrow onwards. From tomorrow onwards, a new batch is getting starting. So tomorrow we have a demo at morning 8 a.m. 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. And already 7 a.m. already demos are already started, actually. After a couple of days, we are going to just combine them, actually, guys. As I told you, know, from Thursday onwards, both these batches are going to be gets combined and you will be having the regular classes actually. So tomorrow we have a batch at 8 a.m. guys. Your batch is at 8 a.m. actually. Okay, 7 a.m. is already started. We started on last Monday actually guys. Nothing is there. Just we started on the last Monday. So Monday to Friday, we have taken the classes. Just a small introduction, introductory parts. Just started with the basics of Python. So at 8 a.m. batch, tomorrow I'm going to give you the demo of what is machine learning and all these things. I'll start with that. So and then I'll start with some introduction to Python. So by just by two or three days, both will sync up. And then we are going to be starting our regular classes from Thursday's class like this. OK, fine, guys. <clears throat> uh, yes, recorded videos of demo lectures also. They will share you guys. They will send you a follow up mail like this. I'll just show you a follow up mail will be sent to you guys. There will be some kind of a follow up mail actually. So this is how they are going to send you the follow up mail actually. And there they are going to share you the recorded videos actually. We'll get a this one actually. <clears throat> yeah, Raju, it is <laughs> that is going to be a different course actually. Both of see there the professors who are going to teach you clearly i because i'm i'm telling you know i was i was a personal experience actually i done from triple it hyderabad i i done my from triple it hyderabad it is a weekend class the cost is around 2 lakhs the cost is going to be around 2 lakhs okay so there that particular who are the train that means who is going to take up the lectures there are going to be phd people they are the phds because in iits and triple it's they will be obviously there will be phds will be there they take only the they are going to take only the theory class actually classes they don't teach you any practical they don't teach you any practical nobody is going to talk about them they only explains you the theory as i told you know mainly the machine learning the understanding the background is going to be important once if you understand them remaining is going to be the same as it is the remaining is going to be the same as it is so the being the particular lectures are given from the highly professional peoples and being it is a corporate level training, so that is going to be the cost is going to be this much. But if you want to do that kind of a certification directly as a learner, there, there will not be any freshers actually. Guys. Freshers can't learn from them. Freshers and job oriented people can't learn them. Who is already having, as, as I told you, know, I started my journey in 2017. After a couple of years, after completion of my basic training and learning all these things, I done my certification from 2019. You should be also having so even if anybody is planning to do any that kind of a certification from triple it or iit or something i recommend saying that you spend some bucks here you join this course first you complete here and then go there and join them for a corporate levels those are going to be important actually guys their managers senior managers even ceos of some companies will come and join those particular courses they are basically for industry levels actually guys they are for basically for industry level Learning there, we cannot get the jobs from there actually, guys, because there you don't get any theory, con the practical concept. What is a practical concept is they'll share you the code to you. You have to learn that particular code. Nobody will explain that particular code. You have to learn that particular code by yourself, actually. So who is already having some practical knowledge? So who is basically who are into, who are having any idea or who are having an intention to go to research? So that kind of a courses, is a, that, that type of courses are recommended. But who are basically for job oriented, actually, guys, it's a four months program, guys, only weekends. Just imagine only four weekends. Oh, sorry, it is only four months course only for weekends. And that too, the Sunday is going to be one class. Only Sunday they will teach you the Sunday. They are going to teach you the theory. Saturdays, there will be practicals, actually. Yes. 
yes content and quality and assignments will be given at the same level so see the thing is they are dedicating see that their dedication time will be one day is for theory and one day for practical practically they don't explain here but here as part of our class is a job oriented you want to work in a real time you want to work with a real time then practical is more important than the theory actually guys theory is important theory is to understand the what we are implementing but implementation is important actually so we are going to be concentrating more on the practical concept at the same time explain the theory concept actually so we don't have a sufficient time to spend that much time on the theory and that much time on the practical here now that is a self learner so that kind of programs are mostly like a self learning only guys they only teach you you go through it they will teach you only theoretical concept practical concept they will directly share you the code you have to learn that particular code so that standards will be there you have to understand do some research so what i done it actually guys during that particular four months of time i stopped my uh, I, i stopped my working the job so i completely dedicated four months only for that particular program because i don't have a time actually after doing a lot of research because four months itself is going to be hard for me just if you imagine that if the course is one year so the spending that time for one year of that every weekend it is blocked every weekend you have to block it actually if you are really working person just imagine that one year blocking on saturday and sundays how difficult it is and if for example if you are a job looking guy a job looking professional actually so you have to spend you have to wait for one year you have to wait it actually that is going to be the differences actually okay even for the people who are trying to planning to do any such kind of a certifications i recommend only one thing spend some around 15k 16k 20k maximum first learn this course you will be getting some idea there you can go there and you can upskill your you can upskill them actually guys why i done the certification program actually guys it is only just to my upskill but it is not for learning any new things there actually i have done a lot of research because already have a knowledge to upskill myself i have been joined that particular program but the cost is very high actually guys 2 lakhs so normally for for a person who is already professionally is at high he can spend 2 lakhs 2 lakhs for four months course actually guys just imagine how much cost it is going to be taking actually yes yes absolutely it but one thing as i told you know 75% contribution is from my side 25% contribution is from your side the first thing i have to say that because so many people expect something like that everything so i'll say this guys for example let us say that generally i'll say that i'll implement chart bots i will implement some chart bots by using something like a python and i'll say that try to implement the same thing by using our language you must be in a position to do it actually guys again if you ask me to do it sir how do you do it in our language some people ask me like that sir everything we are expecting from uh, everything we are expecting to explain by your from your side so if I, if everything is going to be like a self learning why should i pay for this one so course is a very huge course actually guys that's why if you want to if you spend some around one year of time if you spend one year of time i can teach you but for nobody is nobody is going to be having that much time to spend one year of time for this particular course curriculum imagine a course curriculum of one year how much time how much it is going to be difficulty for them actually even on weekends for four months only i was unable to handle it actually because i will be having some other we have other commitments also so complete let's stop on my trainings so i decrease but i have to have some earning so what i did is i have just taken some few classes in uh, only just mornings and evenings not too many courses because saturday and sunday should be there and even they will be giving some weekly assignments daily assignments some kind, such kind of a things will be there we have to complete the projects actually they only just give the certification actually guys depending on the examinations how much score we have been done they'll give a certification actually so my level is going to be very good performance actually i was not excellent because due to some health at the last uh, i was hospitalized actually for um, for 3 days 4 days i was hospitalized uh, due to some viral fever during the end of the course actually almost at the end of the course so there my grades has been decreased i was unable to complete the weekend the weekly assignments weekly assignment cost costing you around 50 marks so i lost that 50 marks otherwise i will be also in excellent uh, range only i would be actually simply if i attend them they don't give the certification guys my certification is going to be they'll give they'll give my they'll highlight it saying that with a very good performance or excellent performance actually i was at second level actually yeah yeah you can see yeah raju i can share you yes absolutely see you will be getting 
um, uh, we'll be getting this particular um, after the completion of the course, not only after completion of the course, yeah, without any experience and any help will be there. Yes, Selva, I'm going to be giving you all that particular help actually. So I'll just show you the mail once. I'll just show you the mail once. This is the, uh, the, the mail what we are going to be getting. Course highlights, maths and statistics, resume preparations, interview based questions, free work on work, uh, the free workshops, weekend workshops on advanced concepts, domain specific project based on the participant requirements and topic wise assignments and assessments will be there. Best. And as a complimentary, we are providing Durgasoft Python videos for free actually. Okay, Selva. Fine. <clears throat> okay, guys, can share your LinkedIn in profile or any previous class recording on ML so we can know better. Absolutely, I can share you. Um, Raju, I think your name is Raju Aluri. Okay, I will re I just remind them to send you one recording session. I can show you. Otherwise, I'll do one thing. I will uh, I'll give some access to you. Maybe yesterday's class. Okay, yesterday's class I have been taken. Okay, yesterday just yesterday's class only I have been bought taken. Yesterday I started with the deep learning actually. At the evening 6 p.m. I have just started with the this one. Um, if you want, I can share you those particular details. Uh, how many days access Durga or Python videos? I have to confirm them. I think, I think that also will be accessible for one year. Selva, that is also will be accessible for one year. I think throughout your course curriculum, you can access for one year. You can access them. The recorded videos only. Okay, fine. So yesterday I have been uh, done with the one introduction to the deep learning. Uh, introduction to the deep learning, a concept of how the deep learning network will work. I'll do one thing. I'll share you that particular uh, uh, video to you. Um, and I'll ask my backend team to share you those particular videos also. Specifically to Mr. Raju, I think Raju Alluri you're asking now, is one session is sufficient? Recording on ML, Raju? Yes, okay. Yes, because you will be having <laughs> 10 plus two standard actually, yes. 10 plus two standard maths is required. I think to get a good idea guys, Raju, I'm going to share you the yesterday's class. I'm going to share you the yesterday's class. Why specifically I'm talking about yesterday's 6 p.m. class. Uh, yesterday I'm talking about a 6 p.m. class. I'll just show you. Uh, Selva, okay. I'll ask to, uh, I'll, please, I'll share it to everyone who has been joined for today's class. I'll share it, guys. It is yesterday's class only, which is at 7, 4, 6 to 7.30 p.m. actually. Okay. Um, yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, just... I'm going to just show you some video, just take five minutes. I don't want to play it. So it is one hour, 18 minutes class actually. Yeah. So maybe you can't hear the video. You can't hear the audio actually, guys. I'll share it, but just to make you understand. So this is currently what I have been got discussing actually, some math behind them. So what is going to be derivatives concept? I have been just explained because you are worried about mainly about the math and stats. So it is going to be nothing but I just want to explain some kind of a basic. It's not in depth about them. Yesterday only I started with them. Some kind of a derivatives concepts. I will ask my backend team to share this particular video. I'll share the link. They'll share you the link for that particular video too. Okay. This is going to be all that particular maths and all these things I have been got discussed. So how the derivatives are going to be? How do you calculate the derivatives? Okay. So how, what is derivative first of all? How it is calculated? So how to kind of, how to calculate the gradient? Uh, it, how to find out the gradient at a particular position. So it just, it's one of the prerequisite for the deep learning actually. Instead, I just given some introduction to a concept called as a gradient descent concept I have been got discussed. Okay. I'll share you that particular details guys. Okay. Fine. You can understand Hello. them. Yes. Hello. Yes. Is that yeah, I have yeah. a doubt. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. So, no problem. Okay, okay. So within this uh, four months or four and a half months, mm. uh, like there will be only any real-time project explanations yes. or only theoretical? No, no, no. Everything, guys. Everything is going to be... See, every algorithm we are going to be implementing is a real-time data set, actually. So that's why I'm saying it's not a programming language, like a learning something like basic input A, input B. It's not like this, guys. If you want to use an algorithm, compulsory, we should have some real-time data sets must be there. Simply, if you take some employees' data, customers' data, we don't do that kind of analysis. We have a completely some real data sets will be there. We are going to be gets working with the real data sets. Like some examples of some data sets I'm going to be using. We are, we are having a different, different data sets are there. 
like for example it is going to be some data set these are public data sets they are real data sets but they are public data sets actually guys so this is the data set what we are going to be working actually it is a data set which will help you to identify whether the patient was affected with the cancer or not this is the data set actually it's not a man made that means we can't prepare a data set actually guys so this contains a lot of data actually using this data will make the machine to learn can you predict whether the patient was affected with a cancer or not this is a medical diagnosis data data which was related to life sciences it's a diagnosis data like this in approval of credit cards in approval of credit cards loan approvals we are going to be using a different data sets like this one which is what we call it as credit data sets so whether to give a loan to a particular customer or not there are thousand records are there actually it's not the number of records guys number of columns is important actually higher dimensions data totally there are 20 columns will be there here now there are 20 columns are there in this data set actually there are going to be 20 21 columns are there you can see 21 columns are there so we have to identify we have to find out who is a defaulter who is a non defaulters so every example we'll see is a real data set actually okay so every project is a real data set plus along with that at the end of your course we are going to be doing a real projects we are going to do some kind of a real kind of a projects where it's like a capstone project actually which we are going to make you to do the particular project so only one real time project no 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 right. there are going to be five different domains are there we'll give different okay. different domains so it is going to be depending on the participant interest actually domain specific project based on the participant requirement uh for example if we ready with uh, this uh, theoretical part and uh, if i ready to join only for this particular projects will there cost of uh, provide only a uh, training for this project um maybe it, they will provide you but it will take some time actually or specifically for yourself we have to take a project so specifically for you we have to take a project for you it's only for an like an one to one uh, uh, session i have to yeah, take yeah, it okay, for okay. you like that acha okay okay yeah if you if you are really interested to them otherwise you can talk to my backend team so they will give you the details okay okay, okay. i understand fine yeah thank you okay guys fine guys so anyone guys any any other questions okay guys so thank you all of you guys uh, for spending your weekend uh, for attending the workshop so hope we'll see you all of you in the coming uh, demo classes or something like that so thank you all of you guys and uh, we'll meet you um we'll try to connect in the tomorrow's class if anybody is interested to pursue this take up this particular course so tomorrow 8 am is our uh, back your uh, demo class actually guys they'll share you the details my back end team will share you the details you can join the demo class actually guys just join for a 2 to 3 demo classes so after that we'll get some idea about what is data science and all these things then you can understand them actually guys okay fine so that's it for today's class guys and thank you once again and have a happy weekend thank you all of you guys